Hi everyone, welcome to episode 7 of the new Obsidian plugin series. In this series, we talk about some of the best new Obsidian plugins that might add some value to your existing workflow. Without any delay, let's dive straight into the video and talk about these plugins. The first plugin on our list today is Slash Snippets, which allows you to use Slash command to insert text, a pre-configured text immediately on the nodes. You can call it similar to some other text expander tools like Espanso or any other text expander tools, but it will work only within Obsidian. Let me show you a quick demo. I'll just install it and enable it. If you go to option, you have the option to configure the slash trigger, which you can keep slash command like slash or use any other symbol like hashtag or dollar or even the right. So I'll just choose edit over here. And then we have the snippet path, which allows you to configure the folder where all of your snippets will be stored. So now I have two snippets over here on my email address and the tomorrow date using templater. Now I'll just create a new note. And whenever I write email over here with at the rate, you can see whenever I write at the rate, it will automatically show this picker uh, which allows you to select from one of the existing snippets over here and then you will be able to use this you can also use templated commands such as i have tomorrow's date in the tomorrow snippet over here and if i trigger tomorrow like it will automatically enter the date so this is a simple example of how you can use the snippets plugin you can also make it more useful by creating a list of all the reusable blocks or reusable elements inside Obsidian and you will be able to quickly add those things such as like tables, frequently used table formats or uh, callouts or iframes or any kind of snippets that you may want to add quickly uh, within Obsidian. The next plugin on our list today is Simple Table Math. This plugin allows you to perform mathematical operations on the markdown tables. All the operations that can be performed are listed over here. Like you'll be able to do sum, average, and find the minimum value, find the maximum value, or do subtraction and uh, multiplication. And you can specify the direction of values to operate in by using these two symbols. I'll just show you an example over here. I have this markdown table. And now what you can do is write sum. And to indicate you have to do this in column format, you just need to write this symbol and it will sum all of these values, right? I'll do the same thing over here, sum this column and we have it here. Now, if you want to do the sum of these values, then you can just write this and it will sum these values. Similarly, it also supports other mathematical operations like a subtraction or multiplication. But remember, these values are not uh, stored permanently over here and they are dynamically. When you uninstall the application or when you stop using the application, it will have the same value over here. I'll just go to source mode and it will just have the same value. Uh, the plugin is dynamically changing those values. If you add another value over here, it will also sum that. Uh, it will show you uh, that result dynamically. The next plugin on our list is called as Sticky Notes, and this is something that I wish existed natively within Obsidian, but unfortunately, we do not have one. Uh, to fulfill my needs, I also created a separate application called as Quick Sticky Notes that allows you to quickly view all of your notes, uh, all of the Obsidian notes, but uh, this is only available on for Mac OS. But you can use this Sticky Notes plugin regardless of whatever OS you have. Although it is not as full-fledged as Quick Sticky Notes, it does solve the problem that it is trying to solve. First, let's go through the Sticky Notes. So it allows you to open a pop-out window that resembles Sticky Notes and have a much simpler look. So if you go to option, you have the option to configure the size of the Sticky Notes, then uh, whether you want to make it resizable or not. And then you have the option to add uh, colors over here. Now all you need to do is open that note in a sticky window. So you can just go to uh, right click or you can use the command palette as well and open this note in this new window. And it does not look pretty, right? So 
I'm just using a simple black color over here. And now, even when you are using any other applications, like you see, I'm using this application over here, but it is always on the top. You can just disable this functionality by unpinning it. But if you have this sticky note, this is very helpful for references or quickly jotting out ideas, etc. Uh, to solve this problem, I created a similar application called as Quick Sticky Notes. I'll just show you a quick demo of that application as well. So the Quick Sticky Notes application is only available for Mac OS. So I'll talk about the major features. The major features that I have created is the ability to quickly jot down ideas. Like uh, if you want to quickly capture some ideas, you can just press a shortcut command yes, and it will open a scratch pad where you can add all of your ideas. Uh, like it will appear instantly like this. Then you can see all of your obsidian nodes like this and open one of these nodes and you can keep on using whatever you were doing and you have this node right on the top of the other screens. Similarly, you can use a keyboard shortcut to see all of the recently opened nodes and open one of those nodes, view it on the side. One of the biggest issue that I had while making this application was the live preview, which is not good. You can switch between different preview over here. What you see is what you get is very bad because it is not natively supported by Mac OS. So the preview mode looks properly on the markdown format. Then we have plain text format, which will just render everything as a source mode. Then we have what you see is what you get kind of styling, but it does not work perfectly. So if you want to check out the quick sticky notes application, I'll provide the link in the description so that you can check it out. The next plugin we have on our list is called Bunyan and it is a simple plugin to create a home page like view to browse, organize and access your notes in card like format. I'll just enable the plugin, go to option and you have the option to configure the note directly. If you uh, remove it and just keep it root directly, it will uh, browse or it will index all of your alt. But if you don't, uh, you want to use a particular folder, then you can do it as well. And it will create a home page view with the card like format showing all of your nodes. Uh, by default, it will only load uh, certain nodes, like it is loading, showing 20 nodes out of the 89 nodes in this current vault. And you can create different filters, like you have the all nodes filter, which will show all of your nodes. Then you can create other filtering here, like let's say books, and which includes the tag book and books. And you can also exclude the tags over here. Then you have the option to add keyword. Now, if you click on save, then you can go and browse those filtered nodes. And you can see here, I have only one node with the books tag. So uh, this will show this particular node in this card format. There is also an option to create a random review. There is one by default, or you can also create a new one, which includes certain tags or which excludes certain tags, right? So if you click on save and just click on random, it will open a random that you can review like this. You can also search through your entire world by using the source function over here and it will show all of the source results in this card format which looks much better. Even on the source, you can include certain tags or exclude certain tags as well uh, for the source feature as well. You can create multiple filter views inside each of these elements like random review for nodes are using different tags or and even for filter schemes, you can create different ones. You also have this heat map view over here, which allows you to see your writing habits. This is my demo vault, which has not been updated for a very long time. Therefore, you can see here, there are only one or two nodes created in this entire time frame. Well, the next plugin we have on our list is called as Simple Banner. Uh, this allows you to enhance your obsidian nodes with the header image, icons, dates, and times. It is flexible and it is customizable as well. I personally use the pixel banner plugin, which is more mature. Before pixel banner, I was using a banner plugin, but it got discontinued. Okay. You can see uh, it is the last update it was two years ago and it had some issues. So I switched to pixel banner. This is one of the best banner plugin on Obsidian, which allows you to add beautiful customizable banners to your nodes 
I guess recently they also added support for AI generated designs, but I think you need to pay for the API keys for the eight ones. So this is another one that you may want to take a look into. If you just want to add banners or customize the nodes like you would do in Notion or any other tool, I would suggest you to simply stick with Pixel Banner because it is more mature. It has been in active development for a very long time. It has more features, more customizability and overall more stable than this new one. The next plugin that I want to showcase today is Yearly Glance. Uh, which provides a visual and customizable overview of annual events to help you plan efficiently, review and manage important dates throughout the year. Uh, it is not as feature rich and as robust, although uh, it can be used simply uh, for viewing important dates. Okay, I'll just close these ones. Uh, there are three kinds of events that you can log into this custom event, birthdays and holidays. And here we have the yearly overview. Uh, then we have the plus different layouts for each of these uh, yearly calendar. We have the format uh, that we want to use for the overview. Then we have either the list for we can either choose from the list view or the calendar view itself. If you want to add a new event, you can just click on here. Uh, if it's a custom event, birthday event, or holiday, you just need to choose it event name add it here and uh, just save this event i'll just event it i'll just keep the event date as okay tomorrow and here we have the event is logged over here and you can see it over there in the yearly overview it looks like this if we hide all the empty dates it will show up like this so this is something that you may want to take a look into although i don't find it much useful the next plugin on our list is called as related notes which allows you to find the related notes in your vault using bloom filter analysis after you install the plugin it will index your vault and based on that indexing it will show the relevant files so i'll just open one of these notes over here and click on the toggle related notes and you can see here, uh, when I toggled on the related nodes, it opens a new pane on the right side. I don't know how this plugin is indexing and showing the data, but I found it highly unreliable. Currently, you can see here, this is a book. And even for, for the book, it is showing all the other extra book nodes on my vault. All the other book nodes in this demo vault. But when I go to the individual node, it will show some random nodes that are not even relevant. You can also see here, there is the option to choose maximum suggestions like you can choose to see the total number of related nodes for that particular node the next plugin on our list is called as high node hey i just wanted to plug in my own application voice inc this is something that i have been working for the past eight months and that is why i'm not very active on this youtube channel uh, you can check it out from the link in the description it is a mac os productivity application which immediately transcribes what you say to text anywhere on your mac os this can significantly help to reduce your typing uh, and increase your productivity there are tons of other features as well you can check it out all uh, by visiting in the link given in the description let's get back to the video now and this is something that i found really useful and has a lot of potential although there is some ai related functionalities uh, that is extra i think the main core idea of this plugin is really good so this plugin allows you to add comments to the highlighted nodes and use AI for thinking. I will just uh, remove this AI part for now because I guess uh, for AI you will need to, or to use AI you will need to get uh, the premium version of HiCard and I guess it is cheap though. HiCard Cedian plugin. Okay, it was actually high note. Sorry for that. High note.vip translate it. And the pro version is for i don't know if it is called yen 26 so i don't know if this is being translated right but uh this is the price of the premium version which allows you to uh, do ai and flash card system with this plugin uh, let's just uh, discover the highlight feature that i really loved so what it allows you to do is it will allow you to show all of the highlighted nodes on the sidebar 
currently i do not have any highlighted notes over here i'll just highlight this now for all of the highlights in your note it will show this comment box right next to the highlight where you can add a comment to this 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 comment will be stored locally in a json file format another thing that i really liked is the ability to export images you can export this as an image and this is the current format you can also change this format in settings for high note go to option and here is the export template you can customize this format over here and then there are these other configurations like exclusions where you may want to exclude particular folders or particular file formats then you have the option here for custom rules where you can specify the custom uh, rejects rules to uh, understand the uh, highlight format that you are using within your world by default it has this uh, default highlight mark format and span format uh, which it recognizes if you want uh, if you are using a different highlighting format then you can add a new rule for that I don't know if this is possible or not. I think uh, one thing that would make make this plugin really useful is the ability to highlight directly as well without using any other plugins. I don't think it is directly possible, but it would make this uh, plugin more useful because it will allow you to add comments as well as add highlights as well. Well, I don't think by default it is a uh, it is possible to add the highlights, but if it was, it would have been a good plus point. So now let's go to the final plugin on our list today. Now uh, the plugin is called as Bookshelf. And I have uh, created videos previously as well on how you can create a bookshelf using DataView plugin. But there is a core Obsidian plugin called as Basis, which is coming out next uh, to the public. So that is something that you should use. But if you are just looking to get started, then this may be a good start. You don't have to do any kind of querying just like you would do with data view plugin so it is more simple but one thing that i did not like about this bookshelf plugin is how rigid its structure is for example i mainly like to differentiate different types of node based on tag not folders now it is asking me to choose the books folder which means i cannot keep other nodes inside this book folder so uh, this is something i dislike about it and then there are these other uh, properties which you have to use over here you have to use only these properties for the book nodes so i'll just open the book library over here okay i'll just go over here and select a root folder as the book folder let's open the book shelf again and here we have all of the nodes as book nodes right i personally use cover underscore url for the front matter of the a book covers and now you can see these are the books in my world and let's add some more queries over here total underscore pages source by pages okay but i personally feel like there are a lot of improvements that could be done with this plugin but it also has a lot of other good features especially the tracking feature which allows you to see the progress i am not able to see it right now Let's go to book self documentation and you might be able to see it over here. Reading progress. Uh, reading progress allows you to uh, add the progress for the book that you are reading and you will be able to visualize uh, this uh, progress. So if you read a lot of books and want to create a progress kind of view, uh, then you might want to check out this plugin. But I really dislike its... Uh, like a rigid nature uh, forcing uh, that rigid kind of structure uh, for the nodes also you can also uh, show this in gallery view as well as table view and it will query all of these uh, yml front matter and then show the result over here so these are all the new obsidian plugins that i wanted to showcase today i hope you found this video useful and found some of the plugins valuable i love the sticky notes plugin but i have something that works better which is quick sticky notes application if you want to check it out you can check it out from the link in the description so this is all for this video i hope you have a great time see you in the next video bye